Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you would like to get a personal reading with me. All right, you guys. So we're going to get into this reading. We're going to take a look and see if anyone's coming towards you. Um, happy birthday to anyone who has a birthday today. Please do leave a comment if it's your birthday and or in the chat. <clears throat> I know I think we have a couple of our moderators who have birthdays. Melly, I believe it's your birthday, Melly. And I want to say happy birthday to you. And let's see, who else has a birthday today? We have Jacqueline. So happy birthday to Melly and Jacqueline. Okay. So let's get it let's <laughs> let's get into your reading. Okay. So you've got photograph looking at your photos missing you nostalgia wants to make new memories you got ascending transcending obstacles learning expansion a new phase preparing for a union okay there could be someone here who is being nostalgic about you so that would tell me that's someone that maybe you knew in the past um if not it's just someone for some of you who could just be seeing your photos and being interested in you but for some of you, there is someone here who is missing you. Okay, let's see what else. One more for Virgo. Oh, no. Ah, that's what I thought. Stabbed in the back. Ooh. Holy what, Virgo? Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. Okay. So, you know what, Virgo? Looks like you let go of somebody. You ended something. Um, there's heartbreak, pain. There's separation. Whether you ended it or another person ended it. Um, maybe some deception and I feel like someone here is they're missing you and they want you to come and take the knife out of their back. No, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my gosh. Now that's another knife. What the hell, Virgo? All right, let's, let me see. There's definitely, um, some communication coming in from someone who it looks like they miss the up they're missing the opportunity to breadcrumb you they're missing the opportunity to um take advantage or to stab you in the back that's what i'm getting okay so let's see i'm gonna find out who this is so it looks like it's a fire sign leo sagittarius aries um someone feels like um this fire sign this is a reading, man. I can already tell you the way this is starting. This fire sign feels like they are the law of the land. And they have this righteousness about them. And um, they're also looking to see um, if you are suffering from... Yep, there you go. Ten of Swords from that deception or that thing uh that somebody did and that whole missing you thing i mean they're looking they're watching to see you know what give them a movie virgo <laughs> give them a movie never let them see you sweat um that's kind of evil i feel like that energy is kind of evil but i will say now as i always say of course that this could be a romantic partner this could be someone maybe you thought was a friend or God forbid, a family member. Hopefully not. But um, I feel like this person is looking to see if you have, if you're suffering. If you have felt the effects and if you've let yourself go due to something that another person did. Um, they're looking online or they're looking at photos or if they see pictures of you. They want to see um, how you're making out without them. Even if you ended something with them or left the relationship, they want to know um, if you are, I'm, I'm hearing they want to know if you got the law involved or if you are taking legal action. Like this person is, you know, this, this kind of feels like someone who, um, and you know, forgive me, but I watch a lot of crime shows. <laughs> And I hope that it's not a crime situation, but this this is kind of a situation where someone commits a crime and then they run away and then they come back to the scene of the crime to see how it turned out. That's what I feel like this person is, this Leo, 
or Aries or Sag is doing. So that whole missing you is kind of like, ew, what the heck? I mean, if, if somebody let you go or something ended, um, on a much lighter note, though, they're saying that this person um, is looking just, it feels like to see if you're in, like if you're suffering, like if you're, if you're struggling, if you're that ten of swords, if you're like hidden, if you've hit rock bottom, if you've, if you've surrendered, if you are going to come beg for them back or beg and plead. Yeah. So if you're going to take that leap of faith, I feel like this, like this, oh my gosh, very toxic situation feels very toxic, especially with the stab in the back. Shocking attack, separation, um, toxic energy, lies, things like that. Okay. I mean, those are pretty extreme. That might not be your situation. But I can tell you that um, it, it that's the person that is like, they're going to come towards you. Okay. And why? What are they coming towards Virgo for? Are they going to reach out? Like, what's the energy? Yes, because the Page of Wands is there. So I do feel like this person is going to send you a message or a call or text you um, and to invite you to go do something or um, to see if you, I don't know, I don't trust it. But in some way, I also feel like this person is trying to really let you go. Um if there was a relationship that you were in that like kind of came to an end because it was just not working and there might have been some toxic elements, I feel like this person feels like they were. It, did you leave Virgo? Maybe you left the relationship or they left the relationship, but it ended. And I kind of get a sense that um, this person kind of wants to overcome the problems, but they're not sure. They're looking at you to see if you are, they get this idea in their head that if you're struggling or if you're um, being extremely sensitive or you are showing sadness um, anywhere, any way, in any form, um, for some reason that gives them this energy in their head that, okay, Virgo is having a hard time. Virgo is really missing me. Virgo's struggling and I'm really missing them and we should try to kiss and make up. Okay. So, okay, whatever. So let me see the devil. All right. Strength, another major arcana and yeah, they're definitely going to be reaching out with all the confidence in the world. So I kind of get a sense and you guys listen. <laughs> If you haven't gone over to my OnlyFans, you got to check that reading out. Seriously. Um, go over and click the link and subscribe. It's $4.99 a month. But that reading for this week coming up, holy moly. Um, I'm just saying, go check it out. But I'm going to tell you, Virgo, that this person, with all the confidence and all the courage and all the strength, is going to start love bombing you. Like, out of control. Okay? If you're showing... You know, if you're showing signs like you are completely defeated, I mean, in the sense of like, because they're looking at photos. So if you're on social media and you're posting, well, a real man would do this and a real woman would do this. If you're showing any kind of emotion, you don't have your poker face, that's a cue to them to come running back. Okay, Virgo. So, I mean, hey, listen. If that's what you want, then that's what you got to do. But if you don't want that back, then you don't show any emotion. You just kind of keep it moving, right? So, all right, let's see. Okay, Knight of Cups in the reverse. This person is like, they're waiting. They're waiting to see when is the right time with the Knight of Cups in the reverse to um, basically be a jerk face. Or um, they're moody. They're so moody right now. Watching. They're watching. 
they're they're going through some kind of mood swings or something. They're watching to see, you know, if you are as busted up as they are, because they are. Virgo, this person is like totally broke, busted, and disgusted. They're injured mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically. They're holding back. They're waiting to see, um, you know, how you're going to behave. Let me, let's take a look at you, Virgo, because, I mean, you know, let's look at you. What's your energy? Okay. Virgo's like, Virgo's just dancing. <coughs> Virgo's like, I'm just going to, like, do a little dance here, make a little love, get down tonight, and... Wait for an opportunity, a better opportunity. Virgo, it looks to me like you are, um, maybe you're juggling a couple of offers. Or you're kind of doing what, you know, you normally do. You're not moody. You don't look to be going forward um, on an emotional ro roller coaster. You look to be kind of stable, balancing yourself, you know. You might have a couple of options. You're trying to weigh your options to see... Um, going forward who is going to come in with a solid offer huh yeah you are you're stable look at you all this pentacle energy this is 100 percent you you're good at work financially stable or at least you're just showing that and that's why this person is looking because one of you here is like you're not gonna see me sweat nope moving on no bloody stump keep it moving and i feel like that's your energy Okay, going forward you are just like what's done is done you got your deadpan face dead in the water walking away and moving on to something keeping it moving moving on to something bigger and better going after you your um your wishes making your wishes you know your contentment so that's what's going on i feel like this person is kind of struggling with the fact that you are not tripping I'm so 80s and 90s when I say tripping. Do people even say that anymore? I'm just showing my age. Um, you're, you're like, it, they're, they're, they don't like the fact that you're not really tripping over them. I don't see that you are. Now, there might be some of you who are like, oh, shit, I need to stop doing that. Unless you want the person back, you know. But it looks like the majority of you are like, I don't care. And it, it I don't know, Virgo. Whether you care or not, it doesn't look like you're showing that. It doesn't. So, and I feel like that's bothering them a little bit because it looks like you're not really even shedding a tear or showing even a tiny bit. Like, you you do have a poker face on. You're like cold, cold stone Steve Austin here. What the heck? You've got the four of wands. Okay. Why is this here? building your foundation. Virgo's like, give me the nail on the hammer. I'm going to go over here and build myself a brand new house. I'm moving. I'm going to move into a new place. I'm I'm doing my new place. If you have a new place, you're just kind of like, okay. So yeah, Virgo, when you're at home, maybe you're a little stressing. But some of you are kind of playing it out a little bit. Um, you're not letting anybody see you too stressed. So at night, maybe you're having some dreams. Um, Maybe there's some like anxiety and stuff like that at night, but you're dealing with that on your own, okay? In the dark where nobody can see it. You're having what you're having. And, you know, the conflict, you're sorting it out. You see that right there? Those those people, they're fighting. Um, they're duking it out. I feel like you might be stressing over the argument or something if there was an argument or um, an attack of some sort that might have happened. Or that feeling of someone like stabbing you in the back. But I feel like during the day, you're good. Here, you've got the Ten of Cups. So, you know, maybe hanging around your soul tribe or your family, biological family, or the people that love you and that community, that support of love, contentment, joy, happiness. Um, and the Three of Wands there, planning for the future. So, you know what, Virgo? What are you doing? <laughs> What are you doing? Uh, Virgo's like, I left the scene of the crime. I left this. The crime scene was deception. The crime scene was trickery. The crime scene was, and, and not legit. It's figuratively, not literally. Um, the, the crime scene was dishonesty. It was someone that was like ding dong ditch. 
to me all the time. There was someone who was like running away, coming in and out. And it looks to me like you've walked away from that. And you're not looking back. I mean, look, this dude is not walking with his head turned around like he's looking in the rear view mirror. You got what you needed at the best you could. And now you're going after your ninth cup here, which is right there. You know, nine, eight, nine, ten. So it looks to me like, I mean, yeah, you're sweating it a little, but it looks like you're just kind of sweating in private. Yeah, you're kind of keeping it to yourself. Maybe some of you are sorting it out with um, some mentors who are helping you, whether that's actual people or you're going through some reading some books or affirmations or, you know, going back to church or whatever you're doing. You're, it looks like you're taking care of yourself. You're not trying to like, I don't feel like you're being inauthentic or you're being fake. I just feel like, you know, you're, it looks like your energy here is like, well, if you don't want to have anything to do with me, then you don't get the right to see anything that's going on with me. And that's kind of <laughs> got this person a little like, what the F? Doesn't Virgo even care? Not even like a, not even a meme, not even a post, not even I wish you were here, not even a music a song, anything like they're looking, they're watching. Yeah, they're watching and they're going to be reaching out. The more you keep kind of I want to say though, even if you like this person, <laughs> this person is so intent to talk to you that if you were to put something out into the universe, like say a song lyric or anything, anything at all that isn't intended for them, they will think it's for them. So no matter what you do, Virgo, if you just kind of com completely close off, th they'll even think it in their head and get it into their head that you're completely closed off because you're suffering and you miss them. Like blocking somebody 100%, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't, right? So no matter what you do, it doesn't matter because I feel like this person is going to reach out and they're going to be very nonchalant and playful. Like nothing ever happened. Okay. That's a message. My God, that's a message, Virgo. Uh, let's see what your love messages are here. Ew, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. See, this this one I'm talking about. Here you are, Virgo, doing you, enjoying your life stopping on the side of the road to smell the flowers you don't care who's looking you don't care who's watching no matter what you do you are you're attractive because you're not chasing and because you're not doing anything right even the fact that you're not doing anything is going to cause it looks like a fire sign to reach out to you now they could have fire in their chart somewhere so keep that in mind you know there's this curiousness about you this person has let me see what else Okay, yeah, this person's going to like propose engagement, commitment, the whole nine yards. All right, well, you do what you got to do, Virgo. I'm just kind of like, what the F? Like, what the heck is this? Let me see what your messages of love are. Retreat, Tom alone or in nature will help you recharge. Well, oh, now I have to sneeze. Hold on, why do I have to sneeze? I mean, I have like, I have to edit this out. This is crazy. Okay, retreat. And, oh gosh, time apart. Some distance will help bring clarity. Listen, Virgo. Virgo's like, I've already retreated and we already got time apart. But that's fine. I feel like, just keep doing that if that's what you're doing. Because it looks like you need that for yourself. Because the worst card that you have, and yeah, the five of cups, which is a little bit of like some sadness dealing with the emotional grief energy, maybe like getting triggered here and there by that. And then the nine of swords, those are really the worst cards that you have. And the good thing is that the nine, it's not the 10 of swords. This person is looking for the 10 of swords in you. They're looking for that complete, 
I want you back. I'm surrendering. They they want you to like beg. They want you to be down lower than them. That kind of thing. That's what they're looking for. But you're stopping at the nine. You're like, nope, I'm having a hard time, but I'm going to deal with it. I'm not going to be defeated. And as far as like your emotions, anything going on internally in your emotions, hey, you know what? If, if you're grieving some sadness or whatever you're going through, or you're working through things, that's fine. Your emotions always catch up way later than your head. That's just, there's always those, you know, people are like, you know, when you go through a breakup and like your head's like, no, this was the right thing to do. It needed to end. You know, the feelings don't actually resolve till it takes a bit longer for the feelings to catch up and the brain's like come on feelings come on and the feelings are like yeah I'm coming but I'm just so sad so you got to give yourself that time for your emotions to kind of resolve as well um the head is just so much smarter than the heart <laughs> as always so you know that that retreating like no matter what Virgo keep healing keep healing Keep going forward. No matter what anybody does, says, doesn't do, doesn't say, give yourself time. Be patient with yourself and let that healing happen. Okay, this rejection is actually divine protection. What? Virgo, so if you were rejected or you rejected someone because you were being rejected, um, which I know is not the case for all of you, but I'm speaking to those of you who relate to that. I feel like... Um, that was, you know, maybe this relationship for some of you was, it, it, it might have just been a lesson. Sometimes people come into our lives and we just kind of put a label on them and like, okay, that's going to be my person that I'm going to be with forever. And we're going to get married, a long-term commitment, and it's going to be romantic. But that's not always the case. Sometimes people come into our lives for different reasons. And when things don't work out, we kind of have to look back and reflect and take the lesson from it. And really just give yourself time to be like, okay, what was the purpose of this relationship? Sometimes people aren't coming into our lives for us. Sometimes we are being put in their lives for them. So think about it. You know what I mean, Virgo? Maybe this whole situation didn't work out because this person needed to learn a lesson from you. Hey, I'm just saying. Only you can judge. You're the only one who's going to know for sure if that's your story. But I can definitely tell you um, that there is protect protection here from the divine. That the rejection was meant to happen. And there's definitely a lesson to be learned. All right, let's see. Okay, so waiting for an answer. Hmm. So you're, yeah, some of you are just kind of like going forward. I feel like you're seeking answers. Like, why is this so stressful? Or why did this have to happen? Or, you know, you're, you're waiting for the divine to give you an answer. And I know some of you are asking that question and trying to gain clarity. And it'll come. You just got to be patient. It'll come. Everything always comes out in the wash later. You find stuff out. Okay. You also have Cupid's Arrows, Love Messages, and Travel. Yeah. So you had Cupid's Arrows here. So there was... Oh, Virgo. There was the Eight of Wands, so I do feel like this person, like I said, is going to be very playful reaching out to you or sending you a love message or asking if you want to go somewhere on a trip or, you know, if you guys are at a distance, there might be travel involved, <clears throat> asking to see you or inviting you to see them. Yeah, I mean, but there's an illusion here. This is the moon. So this message is, although there may not be enough light to see ahead, the shadows may frighten you. Only believe in what, like the evidence and not the tricks that your mind plays on you. Trust your intuition when in doubt of a situation, remain still until more information becomes available. Just right now, I feel like don't move. Just be still. Retreat, yes, but if you've retreated, stay where you are. Just be still. If you're waiting for an answer, not much is easy to see in the moonlight. You kind of going to have to wait until things become clearer and the sun comes out and there's more clarity so you can see clearly. Okay. Um, so if you're waiting to hear from somebody, um, if you're in this position, like what the heck happened or you miss them and you really want them uh, to come back, it's not time to resolve the relationship, but they are going to reach out. Okay. So, you know, if you are that person that gets a sense of relief because they've reached out to you um 
it might make you feel good for a minute, but I don't, you know, like I said, I kind of feel like this person, there might be a control issue or something where they're having a hard time letting go of you. Do you know what I mean? They're having a hard time letting go of you. That's what that devil energy is there for. That's like, you know, got their claws into you. So it might feel good for a minute to hear about that, to hear from that person because it might give you a sense that they care, but it's the page of wands and it's care in the sense of a playful kind of care. It's nothing serious and deep. There's nothing serious and deep in this reading right now, but you know, we are looking in through September. So I just kind of feel like, um, hold your ground is what I'm hearing. Just hold your ground, steady yourself. I don't know why I need to do that, but you know, hold your ground and steady yourself. That's what they're saying. Be prepared, Virgo. Oh my gosh. All right, let's get a Chinese sign and see. You and this person, or just one of you, or it could be none of you. Okay. All right. We're kicking off with the ox. Year of the ox. Year of the tiger. Year of the pig. Year of the dragon. Double dragon again, double ox, year of the rat, year of the rabbit, year of the dog, and year of the monkey. Okay, so that just gives more confirmation to you if this is your person. It may not be. Don't sweat it. Um, all right, Virgo. Oh. I just want to see. They just told me, get the hidden truth message. All right. What do they want to tell you? What's their hidden truth? What's their secret? The timing just wasn't right for us. Hmm. Okay. This person is holding on to you, Virgo. I hide behind material things, but I look for you everywhere. Okay. They're, they're in disappearing mode, right? Right now, as you're listening to this. Going through September... Um, not so much, but they're in like, just dis disappear. I'm working a lot. Hide behind material things. I'm working. I'm so busy working. They're, they're kind of like nowhere to be found, but they're creeping. They're like kind of behind, the, they're behind the bush, Virgo, creeping. What? They're creeping. And they regret lying to you. Yeah, because you're gone. Like, duh. Listen, if some like sit in your regret, enjoy that because that's a lifetime kind of thing. You can get over your regrets if you go and you like make amends, apologize, make amends, and do better. Or sit in your regret. That's kind of like if you have the opportunity to do better, to make amends and fix a situation, or at least score up or shore up <laughs> the situation and then go your separate ways, that's great. But if you're going to sit in regret, be even when the situation is there to be, I just saw the numbers 555. Five, five. Even when the situation is there to be resolved and you don't, then you're just playing the victim. You're just like, eh, poor me. All right, let's get a couple of these things and see what messages we have here for you. Takes me forever to pick these up, you know. All right. Eyes closed. Okay. So we have someone who's 36. We have someone who's 38. Somebody's birthday is September 19th. We also have September 4th. We also have the numbers 194 and 3638. You can switch those numbers around any way you want. Okay. Definitely September. Okay, we have the initial G. Someone's name begins with a G. First or last name or an initial or a middle name. Um, also have the month of January. So that is significant for someone. Let's see in September when this person will be reaching out to you. Okay. 
September 17th, you will hear from this person. And see if I can get some names. A couple of names for Virgo. Also, they're giving me September 12th, significant birth date, September 12th. I don't want no scrub. Scrub is a guy can't get no love from me. Hanging out the passenger side of the restaurant track. All right, let's see. Oh my gosh, Brian. Hi, Brian. What's up, Brian? Uh, somebody's name is Rain or Ray. Oh my God, Brianna, Brian. We have, oh, <laughs> what's up, Axel? Yeah. <laughs> I used to be a little bit of living with a little bit of doing a new. Um, okay. And Harper. I'm hearing Harper. Harper? There was an actress. Her, she played the role, her name was Harper in ER. Do you remember that show? I don't know. They just gave me her face. Short cut blonde hair chiseled face that kind of thing that kind of thing um okay i don't know what i'm talking about um so let's see hold on oop i have cam or cammy or cam jacks for sure um Let me give a couple more shuffles here. Also, they just said, take a look at this guitar. Okay, guitar is um, significant for someone here. We've got a guitar here. So either someone plays, this is electric. Someone either plays the electric guitar or is in a band or is listening to electric guitar music. There. <laughs> I really, I just snorted. I really likes that. Um, Okay, so we've got Patricia or Pat, we have Peggy, <clears throat> um, hold on, Tiff, Tiffany, um, Patrick, okay, someone's fapping, <laughs> go to my OnlyFans if you need that, God, you guys, like, he's such dirty minds. Um, we have Koi, K-O-I, or K-I, K-A-I, Kai, or Koi. Okay. We have Tom, or Thomas. We have the Tao, the Dow. Someone reads the Dow. I love the Dow. Um... We have Mo or Mo Mo M O or M O E. Okay, and just a couple more. Did I say cat? Because I'm picking up cat and also kit, like a Kit Kat. Okay, let's see. Another name. Another name, please. Oh gosh. We got Pete or Peters or Peter, Pedo. We have Jay. We have Lem. Lemmy, Lem or Lim, L I M. And we have, um, Kate. And they're giving me Mika or Miko. Mika. I know, like, poor Steve's like, oh, I gotta spell all these names out. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We have Jet, J E T. Jet. Or some, maybe someone drives a Jetta. And uh, Sin, like Cindy or Sin. Keep getting Pat again. 
Okay. That's good for now. I'm sure you guys probably saw other names in there, but I just had to give you the ones that I that I picked out the most. Um, anything for August? Do you have any August messages here? August 23rd, August 31st. Okay. So you guys, I'm going to leave that reading there for you. But yeah, don't forget the guitar. Maybe you're playing your guitar right now. If you play guitar, or you're thinking about picking it back up again. Some of you might be like, no, I need to get back into that band. I need to start singing again or playing guitar again. Just kind of like get busy with things. Maybe make a little money or just go out and have fun. Um, or maybe you're buying a guitar. You could be thinking about buying one for Christmas or buying one for someone else. Um, or buying one for yourself. You could also be someone who's starting up a new business and you're going to start refurbishing guitars, old guitars, selling them on eBay, <laughs> opening up like a music shop or something. Um, there's a song as well. Someone um, could be sending you a song or there could be something, somebody wrote a song for you. If someone wrote a song for you, this is definitely your reading or wrote anything for you that has music involved. Whatever it is, this is your reading. All right, Virgo. So I hope you enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. Um, I'm also picking up the numbers 8410. Keep that in mind as well. All right, I will see you guys back here tomorrow. Don't forget, if you want to get a personal reading, just click the link below in the description box or underneath my profile picture here. You can join the HOV OnlyFans site as well. Go ahead and donate me a cup of coffee. Thank you to everyone who's bought me a coffee. Jason, I believe, just bought me one. And uh, all of you who have been chipping in, oh, fantastic. I have so much coffee I can drink. I love it. And um, as always, please do donate whatever amount you would like to two of the children's campaigns fundraisers that I have been running on my channel here. Um, we're trying to get up to, I believe, $5,000 by October, if we don't, if we miss the mark, that's fine. We'll keep going. But so far, between both the campaigns, the Rescue Kids Now and the Our Rescue, we have raised two thousand dollars entirely, like in total, which is great. Thank you all for contributing to help rescue missing and exploited children. All right, you guys. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Love you. Bye.